Clearview cassette and the different options you have as far as bringing in your outside plant tube for splicing. As your general cassette comes shipped to you from Clearfield, it's in this configuration with the boot on one side and your fiber being routed in and tied in from the other. What you'll want to do is go ahead and remove your splice tray cover and you're going to need to pull out your 900 micron tails in order to splice. That gives you enough length that you can reach over and get to your splice machine. The next thing you'll want to do is depending on which side of the cassette you're going to be entering in. If you're coming in from this side with your buffer tube, it's as simple as feeding your buffer tube in, prepping the end, and then tying it off. Now if you're going to be coming in from the other side, simply remove the boot, insert it on the other side, and then bring your buffer tube in and tie it off as you would on the other side. For the sake of time and using a little movie magic, What I have here is a cassette that would be spliced in in the traditional manner. With this situation, the buffer tube is tied off, our 250 micron fiber tail routes across, does some slack storage and into our splice. The 900 micron comes up and then it would store on the other side, like so. so that now you're ready to close up your splice tray and your cassette. In every situation, the 900 micron is always on this side of the cassette, the 250 micron is on this side. In a situation where you bring in the buffer tube from the opposite side of the cassette, we still have it tied off here. The big difference is, what we'll do is we'll bring our 250 micron into this side of the cassette and do a quick redirect and then store on this side of the cassette. Uh, if you need a little reminder, the 250 micron will always be on the logo side of the splice tray. After this redirect is completed and your splices are in, your 900 micron tails can then be stored right over the top of the 250. And then after everything is secure in the tray, you can go ahead and add your splice tray. Now if you'll notice, in the end result, even though we're coming in from opposite sides, the 900 micron is always stored on this side, the 250 micron on this side. Perfect.